in my SaaS playlist, I have created these two videos which talks about transposing the data, right? Now, after watching both of these two videos, one of my dearest audience, Ganesh Kure, he says that, sir, in part one and part two, you have told how to convert observations into variables, but how to convert variables into observation, could you make a video on this? Yes, Ganesh, of course, here I am with another video for you to cover this particular problem statements. I would try to clarify this thing to you. Just in case if you have any further doubt, do not hesitate to put that into the comment section. But this is for you. Now, I will just give you a recap. If you are someone who has not seen the previous videos, so just to give you a recap. In the previous videos, I explained that let's say you have this data, right, where you have a column type right as observation and you want to make it as variable which looks something like this so if you notice over here this type column the value available in this type column is converted as variables name and the data frame looks something like this data frame or data set whatever you say now for ganesh the problem statement is this we already have data in this form and he wants to transpose that into this form where all these variable names are transformed as observations so this is something which we're gonna do right away over here let me take you to this as window and over there i will explain you this thing so here i am in sas and here is the data which i'm going to be working on this is the data sets so you see these all sales are blank in your case it might have certain values that doesn't matter so let's start with writing a simplest proc transpose statement so it says proc transpose and input data which i have is in temp library and the table name is this and i want to output this as and i want to say feb new this is how i want to name it right and then i simply want to run this okay and then what i'll do is i'll keep on printing this proc print data which makes it look good nothing else feb new and then just run so if i execute this particular thing let's see what happens so you see you had all these types at column name now these all are as observations but here you see this thing is something which is not looking good and this thing is something which is not looking good right let's fix this one by one so first thing which we're gonna do is we're gonna rename we are going to rename the things rename and we want to rename this name column as type now let's print this this is sorted now we will see this also one thing you might have noticed that we had two more variables which was make and origin that is not looking anywhere over here right so in my previous videos also i have explained that okay so we will deal with that also so for example here what variable we wanted to transpose was measures right if I have to show you that particular data once again. So here this particular variable, we wanted to bring this over here and MSRP wanted to send that over here. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll just write it over here. Majors. In your case, you might not like to transpose any one of these things. So that's still going to be fine. Right. So what it says is, let's see what it says. MSRP msrp occurs twice in the input data set so this is happening because it is getting repeated so many times so that will be fixed when you say by make origin and let's try this if this still gives you the error looks like it worked so you see this column call one is renamed as msrp and it is looking like this right but you might have you might say that look we only required six observations right how come we got 30 observations 
so this will happen because in first case when we transpose so wherever the intersection didn't have any msrp value it created the missing so to get rid of this thing what you can do is you can just put a where statement over here where and in this not missing you can say not missing the variable name which we have is msrp right now you let's run this particular thing so you see you get exactly what we wanted right just in case if you have if you don't have any variable to put in id statement you if you don't have that so if i run it like this let's see what happens oops there seem to be something went wrong what is wrong variable msrp is not on file so here it says because we use this particular statement this is not applicable if we don't have this particular variable now let's run this you see call one is so what you're gonna do is you're gonna rename call one as well call one equals to you can give any name msrp here i am going to give that msrp name right now if you run this so here you have that and again you can put that where condition over here right so you see this this is how it can be managed so i just hope ganesh that it is clear to you or any of my dearest audience who is watching this i just hope that this concept is very clear to you i took a simplest example over here just in case if you have something more complicated do not hesitate to put that into the comment section i'll definitely make another video for that if that is something which actually require a vi uh, video right until then happy learning wish you very all the best